topic is and delta cabin crew so basically this is how delta cabin crew with the pilots with the staff and the uh, aircraft looking alike and this is how a delta air aircraft looks like so in this presentation i will be uh, let you know about the introduction the requirements the benefits and the question and answer uh, generally they will ask uh, around the cabin crew uh, part so first the topic is what is cabin crew so basically cabin crew is the one whose profession is to ensure the satisfaction of the passenger not only the passenger if i talk about the pilots also so they will satisfy the pilots and passengers question and answer and offering them the assistance that they will need so this is how the cabin crew work they will let you know each and every aspects of the aircraft and how you can use the uh, safety purpose and safety marks in required of the emergency so this is how they will work and uh, if i'll talk about the cabin crew right now the delta cabin crew staff look like this and this is the requirement if i'll talk about so basically the requirement would be the minimum age of the uh, cabin crew would be around uh, 20 years and they have must legal right to work and live in the us they must have the high school diploma or equivalent to that degree also and they have fully medically uh, like uh, good there will be no uh, uh, any other like uh, uh, problem in regarding their health and there will be must able be to complete the 10 year background check like the drug test so these all comes under the uh, like this medical process and if i'll talk about the height so basically that would be around 6 feet 3 inches so medically they will be fit and they should have the weight in proportion to their height and they must know like how to swim and they must be able to swim around like 50 meters so this is how they will let us know and they will provide us a training for this swimming uh, area as well so these are the requirements that i have already uh, let you know in the previous slides so basically in this uh, cabin crew professionalism we don't only need the uh, how do we deal with the uh, the clients and we need to uh, deal with the pilots and the passenger we also need to deal with the empathetic and progressive and visionary prospects also and in the requirement process we have the first cv so they provide first we need to provide the cv and based on that cv they will shortlist us and we have then group discussion round we have then a medical uh, like test and on that also we uh, like uh, got selected in that particular area so basically through this process we can just let us know or we can uh, know that how they will uh, shortlist it us so basically this is the assessment day dress code this is how a girl looks like and this is how the a boy looks like and this is the current getla uniform uh, description that i have mentioned in this particular slide and now we'll talk about the benefits that delta uh, airlines will uh, provide to the cabin crew so basically the base salary they will provide us is 40000 uh, per year and the average salary would be 50000 to 60000 per year and if you are more than working over 2 years so the pay scale would be around 80000 per year so these are the facilities that they will provide the insurance the dental and the medical facilities life insurance they will provide us and they will provide the retirement plans also so these are the ratings that they have given by the earlier uh, crew members and earlier cabin crew those who have already worked with the delta airlines so these are the frequently asked questions so basically do delta sky miles expire so basically no delta sky miles will never expire they can only reserve for the further circumstances and how do they work so basically if you work frequently flyer program if uh, they will provide you the uh, more uh, flights also if you want to work with the extra time also so they will provide you the extra uh, earn miles through that so you can use them and you can redeem them redeem them for the free flights for yourself as well as for others also so uh, here uh, uh, the question is where does delta fly so in the 300 food destination and in the p uh, 52 countries so if they will have alliance with any other airlines so they will uh, can fly up to around 136 uh, plus destinations 
So uh, another question is that, is Delta a great place to work? So yeah, definitely Delta will be a great uh, place to work. And the earlier slide that I have showed you the rating. So basically on that particular rating, we can decide that yes, Delta is a great place to work. So does the airline pay for my hotel? So definitely every airline will provide you the uh, uh, hotel and the traveling opportunities because some of the times you need to work in the night time. So they will provide you the hotel stay also. Now, what is the flight attendant schedule look like? So uh, in the fl uh, flight attendant, basically you will uh, have the rotational shifts. Do you don't know like uh, you will get the uh, flight uh, morning, evening. So that is totally depends upon the availability of the cabin crew. If you are available in the evening, then they will provide you the flight according to your available time. So yeah, thank you everyone. So this is my presentation. Thank <laughs> you.